Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is day 113 as a beekeeper. Since my last video, my friend Mike was up here and we did a pretty deep inspection of the hive and we did not see any Varroa during that inspection. But there were some drone cells in there and I'd like to check those out today to see if there are any Varroa inside the drone cells. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to, I'm going to pick apart a couple of the drone cells and see if I see Varroa inside there. Um, I did go and get some formic acid mite away quick strips because I'm, I'm ready to do a treatment on Varroa if, if it's really needed. Um, but in the last couple weeks I've been reading a lot of comments and reading a lot of websites and stuff and I'm, I'm on the fence. Uh, I, was, I was ready to do the treatment and now I'm kind of, I don't want to do the treatment if I don't have to. I know that I should be treating for Varroa because if there's Varroa in my hive, it's obviously there's a chance it can get transferred to other people's hives and I, I, I know that I, I need to take responsibility for that. But if my bees don't really need the treatment, if I just don't have a lot of Varroa and my bees can handle it, I don't want to have to go through the formic acid treatment and risk possibly killing the queen possibly harming you know brood and things like that so I am ready to treat and I'm going to treat uh, I want to I'm gonna really look deep at the hive today I'm gonna look at every frame I'm gonna see if I see any Varroa on the bees I'm gonna look inside drone cells and just see if there are new evidence of mites uh, if there are a great number of mites I'm going to treat I have no problem with the treatment if it's needed so that's where I am today. Let's get into this. All right, let's have a look and see if there's any comb in the medium. And I'm going to bet there is none. There's brace comb on the bottom. That's new. A lot of brace comb on the bottom. This is all brace comb now. Wow. This is going to be a heavy box. Oh. Okay, I am going to lift these out and I'm going to look for drone comb and I'm going to look for mites and I'm going to use Mike's technique. I've got a different hive tool today, the classic hive tool. There are drones. I see drones on the frame. Big drones. It looks like they just hatched. See the drone right here? Big drone. There's a big drone. I don't see any mites. Oh, I see one mite. There are a ton of drones in here. And the drones have mites. This frame has drone cells. I'm going to poke in here and look for mites. Yep. Burrow mites. Yep. 
Yeah, there's Varroa inside the cells. That right there is a mite. And that is a mite. And that one drone cell, there were two mites. And I saw another one on my, on my tool. So they're in the drone cells. All right, let's keep looking at a couple more. So many drones. Okay, I'm sorry. More big fat drones on this one. bees. All right, so what did we learn today? Uh, the, top, the top super, the top brood box has gotten a lot heavier. The bottom brood box is very active. There are a ton of drones. And I did open up two drone cells and I found at least three Varroa in the drone cells. Uh, I saw three Varroa mites on bees, one on a drone and two on two workers. Now the decision, you know, it's always, this is the decision. Uh, do I treat or do I let the bees fend for themselves and maybe become stronger by, you know, cleaning the varroa off by themselves? That's the question. I have the formic acid uh, mite away quick strips ready to go. Two schools of thought. One, it's my responsibility to kill all varroa I see so that they don't get transmitted to other hives and other beekeepers. So I treat, I risk losing my queen or some brood, uh, possibly killing more than that. Um, but I do kill all the Varroa for the winter. Option two, um, I don't treat. I let the bees fend for themselves and possibly get stronger. And if they survive the winter, because they dealt with the Varroa by themselves, next year's crop of bees will be even stronger. This is the decision. I'm not sure what to do, you know? I, I've, heard, I've heard both sides. Treat, 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 and don't treat, don't treat, don't treat, because the bees need to get stronger and figure it out for themselves. I guess the other thing I can do is do the sugar shake test and count the mites and the thing is then I'm going to kill 300 bees or the alcohol test. 
you kill 300 bees and you know then you know for sure whether you're going to treat or not you do the sugar shake you're probably going to wreck some bees but then you're still going to know whether you should treat or not i just looked into two cells found three to four mites and i saw three to four mites on the bees in one inspection looking at 50 percent of the frames I don't think I have a heavy infestation. The problem with Varroa is the bee population will decline over the winter and the Varroa population will increase over the winter. Or they'll increase while the bees are going down so that by mid-winter you got more Varroa and fewer bees. So that's, this is just, it's, you know, what do you do? So I'm gonna leave it at that this week and I'm gonna ask for your advice. I'm gonna ask what you guys would do. And I kinda of know what I wanna do, but I wanna just hear opinions because I like opinions and I like hearing arguments. I know what the arguments are gonna be, but I like to hear it. So I'm gonna leave it there this week. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to, to comment below and let me know what you think. And I don't think it's gonna sway my decision because I think I know what I'm gonna do, but I just want to hear the comments. I just want to know what people think and suggest. Who knows? Maybe I will change my mind. But either way, I will be treating or not treating in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.